most of the uh, time with the Indio Police Department, I've uh, worked patrol, although I've worked homicide investigations, child molestation investigations. Investigation work is uh, tedious and it's interesting, but patrol gives you uh, the real picture of uh, law enforcement, and it's the backbone of the agency. We're en route to back another officer on a 415 physical fight. Uh, one of the uh, subjects may possibly have a knife. It's at one of our, in front of one of our local liquor stores. The officers just advised that uh, it's code for that uh, they had the situation calmed down. They appear to be out with uh, at least one of the subjects there. Uh, actually, they have two people detained. Looks like a female and uh, two females, I guess. Uh, we're going to go find out right now what's going on. What's wrong? Uh huh. Okay. These two are just friends, and this one's. Have you already given this officer your ID? No. You have no ID? What's your name? Rebecca. Rebecca. Rebecca, you on probation right now? I'm on parole. You're on parole? What you on parole for? Uh, burglary. For burglary. Okay. Was it commercial burglary or residential burglary? Commercial. Commercial burglary. You don't have anything on you that you shouldn't have, Rebecca? No. Can you tell me what's going on? Uh, they're dating her, the lady with, with the banana on her head, and apparently the lady didn't want anything to do with her anymore, mm -hmm. so she wanted to break up with her. She didn't want to. She thought the other lady right here was kind of... Uh, trying to break them apart. Okay. She, they, they've been drinking, so she got a little physical, slapped her in the face. Okay. She has a little red bruise on her, on her face. Rebecca, tell you, uh, she's on parole? Yeah, she's on parole. I know her from the previous context. Okay. Uh, she was on parole. She had just parole. Last time I, we found her, she was uh, OD'd on, on heroin. So, you know, she's, okay. we had some previous contacts with her before. How long you and her been together, Rebecca? Uh, we've been together for about a month and a half. About a month and a half? And how long you been out? A month and a half. About a month and a half? Okay. Did you know her before you went in? No. No? So you see her with, with this other girl today or what? No, no. We were all drinking. Okay. You know, all three of you together? Yeah, we were all having a good time. Okay. And then um, they started wandering out together and they started talking. And all uh -huh. I wanted to talk to her and this girl was like... All like excited, you uh -huh. know. When you say this girl, which which girl? The girl in the white. Okay. And so pretty much kind of a jealous jealous type thing. Okay. <laughs> what, what, what's her name? Virginia. Virginia, can I talk to you for a second, please? Okay, let me talk to you over here. Okay. <clears throat> right here. This is good. This is good. Virginia. Looking at me. Okay, okay. What's the problem between you and her today? Okay, she got drunk and she's very jealous. Okay. And um, she just doesn't let me look out the window and stuff. And this girl came over and she's a friend with the person I'm living with, Melissa. And okay. I'm taking her, her disabled baby. Okay. And I live there. And she came over and we were just outside talking. Okay. And she got mad. And then she started her. Okay. And this is the first time she's hit me, but this is the first time somebody's helped me. Okay. Now, how long you and her have been a couple together? A couple months. Okay. You guys been a couple together for a couple of months? Okay. Did she use any weapons or anything? No. Okay. She just has to use her hands. Okay. Well, you okay? Huh? You need you need the paramedics or anything no, to come down? No, I just got hit. Okay. Well, I need the to, yeah. The first time is not going to be the last. Okay. Well, hopefully it will be the last, right? That's what you'd want, wouldn't you? Okay. <clears throat> Did she hit you in the face? Did she knock yeah, you down? Yeah, she hit okay. me a couple times here. Okay. I'm all scratched here. I'm all bruised up. Bruised up. Okay. Now, the bruises here on your leg. Those, those look, before. Yeah, I would say, they, they, you know, so that's really not the first time she's hit you then, no, is it? this is okay. the first time somebody's helped me. Somebody's helped you out. Okay. I wanted to get out of it, but I couldn't because okay. I was scared of her. It gets worse than that. I've been a cop for 22 years, okay? Normally what happens, it starts off with a and push. And I've never been with a woman before. Okay, but let's listen. It starts off with a push and a shove, okay? 
and then it goes to punching, hitting, kicking, stabbing. I thought it would stop. Stuff like that doesn't stop, okay? You need to do two things. You need to separate yourself from her, okay? And you need to testify in court. If she knows you're going to testify in court, she's going to be willing, okay, to back off, okay? If you don't testify in court, okay, or if you just say, well, maybe she'll stop, it's not going to stop. Okay, it's going to get gonna worse. Go you don't want to have to leave the area, right? Okay, then you need to step up and take care of it, okay? You know, the way to do that is to get the restraining order, to go to court. You want to send her some type of information that she's not going to be here anymore, okay? In other words, she's not going to be here to bother you this way, okay? I call that a dangerous person, okay? So you need to make sure to talk to this officer, and, and you need to get it together, All right. okay? Are you guys together? Yeah. Rebecca and her are together. It's not going to stop. It's, it's domestic violence is domestic violence, whether it be between a male and a female, two females or two males. Domestic violence is the same. I'm going to have the officer get a form that you can sign, and we'll take her into custody so she can't do it anymore, okay? Tonight? Yeah, we want to get her out. Are you okay? Yeah. You're gonna go in custody right now, okay, for domestic violence, okay? You can't be smacking her around, okay? Whether she, she's your girl or not, you can't do that, all right? Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take you to custody, take you down to jail. If you wanna to talk to the officer, you can give this officer your side of the story, okay? okay? Yeah, sure. Okay, thank you. Domestic violence is an ongoing incident with these two. It doesn't matter if it's girlfriend, boyfriend, or boy, uh, girlfriend, girlfriend. We have to take her into custody for those visible injuries.